Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with some more Manor Lords. And oh my goodness, I'm just so excited to be back after I've been working this whole week at my job. I'm like, oh! can't wait to play this one again so we are back and thank you all so so much for all the feedback and tips and also how to pronounce some words because uh, for those of you that didn't realize yet i am dutch so yeah english is not my my native tongue if you call it that way so uh, yeah sometimes i struggle a little bit with words but thank you all so so much for understanding really do appreciate it and for all your help with uh uh, yeah, well, the pronunciations that is. So uh, we got a lot of messages here. Uh, family members are joining the settlers, construction finished, the brewery, tailor shop, cobbler shop. Yeah, so okay, we have a little bit of a tr of a problem here. But very quickly before we continue, if you are interested in getting Manor Lords with a great discount at launch, then definitely make sure to check out the sponsor of our channel, Instant Gaming. Because via their website, you can get many games with a fantastic discount. Think of games like City Skylines, The Sims, Farming Simulator, Timberborn, Farthest Frontier, The Universe Sim, Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution, Anno, and so many other great games. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. And if you don't have any inspiration yet of what you would like to play, I highly recommend you to check out my instant gaming wish list with games and packs I would also recommend to play. You can find a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. You guys were telling me, like, first of all, the Burgage plots could be bigger. I'm not really sure if it really is a big issue if, uh, if they are small, but a tip was definitely to make them bigger. So, um, for what I understood, a tailor shop is perfect, is great. But it does mean that the family that was working here at some other job will now become a tailor. Uh, meaning that I don't know what kind of job these people had, but they're not working there anymore. So that is a problem. And I am actually not entirely sure if we are getting in trouble at this point because we did upgrade a lot of these houses now what i do really like production focus so we can say i want you to focus on clothes uh gambas gamsons and cloaks i think i'm gonna put you on a focus on clothes for now uh you need dye for that so you can't even do that because i don't think we already did build a sh a building uh, forge your hut. Let's see, where can we find that? Uh, mining, logistics, residential. I know that I saw it. Farming, not really. Industry. Okay, here we go. So, workers convert berries into dyes. Um, I don't think we did build this building just yet. Are we going to... Do you see those lines in here? That's actually funny. Is that like a path naturally created by the workers or is that like an in-game error? They all seem to go pretty straight here. I'm not really sure if you guys are able to see that. Um, would this industry mean that it's going to be a smelly job and people would not be happy to live close here? Not entirely sure about that either. Where was the... Berries is right over here, so they have to bring it all the way to here. You know what? I think I'm just gonna put it right over here. Definitely something we need. Dyes. We don't have that. Uh, also, trader. Someone mentioned something about the trading pose. That's right over here. Uh, so we are selling a lot of berries because I probably did set up this the wrong way. Um, let's see. Desire surplus. Locked because the trade rules, it's set. No trade. So this, the, the, yeah. If you do this and you want to export it, you need to make sure the current surplus, desired surplus. No, wait. What's that? Now I'm confused again. So someone I thought said that we need to make sure that this is 
how no desired surplus is for importing, isn't it? Lot because the trade rule is set to no trade. Desired surplus. Now I'm confused. This is the current surplus, and I want to have a surplus, say for example, 450. That means that the rest will be traded. I think that is what it means, but it's not entirely clear to me still. Uh, and also someone said, you don't have to unlock this trading route. And I'm confused. Like I already asked you as well in the comments, but I'm a, a little bit confused. Like why would we not, after paying the establish a trade route, a dedicated travel merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only the specific type of good. Uh, but, but you said you don't have to established a route and it, it doesn't make any sense to me why that would be it, it makes sense that you need to pay for it once to in order to to trade so yeah side note there um also a lot of uh comments and so helpful so keep them coming about the saw pit not entirely working which is because you need an ox uh, an ox to help bringing the planks to your storage, to your buildings. And we were building like crazy. So the ox that we had, and now we do have two. Or wait, did we stable place? Wait, do we have two actually? Yes, we do have two. Yes, okay, I did remember that correctly. So we have two. And we could definitely use some more because that would speed things up a lot. But the saw pit is probably not working properly because it does also need a, a livestock, uh, I, I guess, a worker? Is that, did that work now, what I just did? Uh, I, I guess so. Assign a livestock worker. So we will have one permanently working here at the saw pit, which is hopefully going to help here now. Uh, how many timber? We don't have any timber, okay? So that is definitely a problem. And I think that is definitely something we should focus on. Let's just play the game a little bit, put it on slow mode. Um, we have two families unassigned. So I think... Uh, oh, you know what? I actually do feel like I want to add another logging camp because we 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 need to change this spot quite rapidly. At least that is how it feels. I'm going to put this one to work right over there. And I think later on, we definitely should add another logging camp. Uh, the Forester's Hut. Where are you planting right now? I'm not sure where that is we can't see that i wish that would be a great thing to add once this game will launch this is uh, early access version 0.7.002 if you can't read it um but it would be great to see where they are actually planting trees uh so now i'm just going to randomly place it down again i do wonder like we have two people working here it's going pretty slow but also with the orchards now i know how to pronounce it thank you um they uh grew in like three years or something i remember something like that so um this one is is growing so i think it will probably also take three years for the for those trees to grow but it, it's kind of hard to see exactly how many trees they planted and such so this one is still being upgraded right so right now we have a tailor shop right over here and then we have the cobbler shop right over here so the cobbler shop can we do anything else right over here it's refueled residentials i'm actually not sure yeah i i, I think it is finished we can when do we upgrade it to level three they need tavern supply okay wait burgage plot level um we have we have a few houses for people to to still live here so that's good we don't have to focus on that right away we have the brewery right over here but the brewery also needs supplies to work right yeah, 
I think we were building that already in the previous episode, but I need to double check my buildings again. Uh, just to be sure, we have a nice marketplace here. Yes. Oh, that's great. Look at that. We are already getting more market stands right over here. Oh, this is going to look fantastic once this is being filled a lot more. I oh, love this. Okay, so we had the apiaries working already. Was this one also having a family? Yes, it does have one. So this is the last area that we build, but we don't have any people working here just yet because obviously we don't have any sheep. But that is definitely something I want to do. We have, do we have a family? We can have a family working right over here. And this is a follow field right now. It's June. So, okay, let's keep this a follow field. And then the second year, I don't know exactly what year this is. Well, I guess this is the follow. Yes, this is the follow one. Uh, because the second and third year, I, I'm assuming this is rotating as well. So... Ah, uh, follow, follow. Actually, this should be wheat. No, 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 wait. Wh which one was? Yeah, we need ale as well. So, no, let's make this barley. And then this one, this one should be follow. And then this one is going to be wheat. So we can make, uh, shall we also make this a barley field? Well, maybe we should just do, do that. We don't have any any bread, but yeah, that's the downside with only having a few fields. Like it's definitely smart to have a follow field every once every three years to make sure that the ground stays fertile enough. So, hmm, okay, it is what it is. Uh, we definitely need some more families in order to expand our farming area. Um, let's see what kind of buildings. So we have the, the Dyer's Workshop, the Tannery was working well, we have the Malt House right over here. So the Malt House will use barley to produce any malt. At this point we don't have any barley yet, so I am going to pause that one for now. So we have the small stable with two oxes, shall we, shall we build another stable here? I actually don't think that's a bad idea that's part of the logistics i think yeah the hitching post so we can have another hitching post somewhere is it no let's shall we build one right over here is that a smart thing to do i i do, I do feel like it's it's better to have it close to here i wish this one was a little bit moved because I, I like I don't like it how close this is to each other. Maybe we should just move one right over here and have a road around it. Have a little roundabout. Or shall we put it right over here? No, let's just put it right over here in the middle. Okay, well, let's start and work on that. We only have one family, so it's not going too fast. So we have the storehouse. Oh yes, we have the upgraded storehouse. Gosh, I'm just so happy with that. Uh, this one actually, maybe we should empty that one so we can also use that family for something else. Go oh, into demolish this one. Oh yes, now we can have some more space here as well. That is just great. Uh, okay, let's continue. We have the woodcutters lodge here. Uh, that one is just working totally fine. That one is producing fuel. Yeah, okay, select another family to work here. We are definitely having issues here with uh, the logs because it's June right now. We do not have enough fuel. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, you need to plant trees. Look at these small trees. You can actually see what they planted. That is perfect. Oh, I like that, actually. You see some young trees here. Oh, that's great. Okay, so we have the Bloomery Construct. Yeah, I need to say it right now. It's not Iron. It's... Ah, uh, uh, gosh. Okay, now I forgot again. Iron? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I forgot. Okay, sorry. You guys tried. Iron. I, I, Iron? I don't know. I don't know. It's... Uh, keep forgetting these silly words, um, Iren, Iren, 
Erin Slabs. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try it again in the next episode to craft tools. Yes, the tools. I didn't see anyone talk about the tools in the comments just yet because I thought these people at the saw pit were in need of tools. Maybe the tools are just needed for these、uh, people working here to do their jobs faster. Maybe that is why we have tools. It, it's not、uh, explained anywhere, is it?、Uh, so I guess not. But this is all working perfectly fine. So we have small trees right over there. So you know what? I'm gonna put this one right over here. Let's make sure that they are going to.、Uh, Uh, plant some trees right over there. We don't have any issues here, right?、Um, it's rich, but nine out of out of forty, it's not that much. And they were migrating already a little bit further away from our town. Maybe we should maybe put some more trees right over here as well. Look, we are getting more families here. Are we still working on building some houses, or is everything at this point? Build and upgrade it. It might be we might be working on upgrading some more house. Just look at this view, guys. Gosh, it's been so long since I've really enjoyed a game as much as Banished. This one is is definitely so so good. Okay, so these Burgage plots are all upgraded. It seems so that worked out well. Look at this here! Ah, <gasps> chickens! Oh my goodness! Oh, that looks so freaking good. We have chickens, ladies and gentlemen. Just, ooh, I'm just so excited to see this all. So we have a chicken chicken coop. So how many eggs? We have two eggs. It's not much, but we could definitely use. Some more chicken. So this one is a. Oh, right. Okay, okay. So if you have, because this was like a bigger plot, right, with two families. So one family is working as a baker, and one family is working as a warehouse worker. So who is actually paying,、uh, taking care of the chickens then? Or I guess I maybe it's a side job. Maybe it doesn't make sure that that, or maybe it depends. It depends what they do. So as a side job, they can have a chicken coop, but this family is working as a tailor. So that is not having a different job here, and this family is working as a cobbler. So clothes, cloaks. Cobbler shop, leather, and this one was a brewery. But you cannot brew without the barley, right? I think so. And this one is not upgraded just yet. Oh gosh, I'm so excited! Ah, I feel like like there are two families living here, right? We have a fire cutter and a wood cutter here. So if we upgrade this, then one of the jobs will be lost, but it will be filled in with one of the families that we have right now. But I, I don't think we are building more houses, so that does seem like the first thing to do because we do not have that many families living right over here now. So let's just add some more and maybe some bigger plots. Like someone said in the comments, I mean, oh, oh, ooh, oh wait, we can't. Not enough goods. Oh shoot! Of course, we need timber. How much timber do we have? Eight timber. So if we make it a little bit smaller, four houses with a bigger backyard. I think we should do this. Let's. Do that. However, can we? We we were able to expand this, weren't we? Demolish, or did my brain go crazy just there? Maybe we can't. This one is an unassigned family, so that's one of the latest families that joined. Requires fueling. Oh yeah, goodness. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're upgrading. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another one of the woodcutter lodge. Uh, no, no, no. That's not what I want. The logging camp. That's what I want. I think we should build one maybe a little bit further away. It is not super smart to do maybe because they have to walk pretty far. But I think we need to buy an ox. We have plenty of coins there. Uh, how can we remove this? Oh, oh, goodness. Okay. That removed the whole road right over here. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's quickly. But it's fine because now we know exactly how we want the roads to be. Uh, we're just going all the way to there. There we go. We have a road again, guys. So now we're going to put the logging camp. Not enough goods. Shoot. <laughs> we need logs in order to be able to add the logging camp. Okay, let's just speed this up a little bit because this is obviously gonna take some time here uh exposed goods good stored at a fun yeah oh that's the storage that we're demolishing right now i know i know i know i'm sorry about that it's june <sighs> fuel is the most important thing at this point i'm afraid maybe we should just stop producing pl well the planks are not going to be produced oh this is a hard one this is a hard one we are definitely struggling here because winter is going to become a problem here. We are not able to put down any of those. We we can only make planks for ten. That that's good. That's good. But the firewood, whew, these guys need to keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, we have one person working here. I'm going to assign another family. Maybe that will speed things up with the livestock here as well. Because there is one waiting here. Um, so maybe that's the way to go for. To help speed things up a little bit more. Are we able to to buy some... Oh, oh we have another family. Okay, trade. I want to get some planks as soon... Or maybe... No, not planks. I want to get firewood... Stone, planks, roof tiles, blocks, barley, food, materials, firewood. I think we need to import a little bit of firewood. Uh, desired. Wait, current surplus is 95? Is that correct? 93 firewood is only three months because we have quite some families here. Um, how much do we want? It's gonna cost us a lot, though. But it's... I am... Uh, I don't want to take the risk. I'm gonna establish this one. And uh, the desired surplus right now. So how did it work again? Um, blah, 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 blah. We have 21 months of food. So uh, fuel consumption in the winter is doubled. Additionally, some workplaces consume one fuel per month as well. So at least one burgage plot needs one fuel per month. We have 36. So that's 36 a month already. Um, 360 for now, I think. Because we're also going to produce some more as well. Oh, I don't have any idea how much this is costing. Is it like 11 per one? It, it's, uh, it's unclear to me. The prices, because I would expect it to go up. Like if I say 300, then it would go, uh, it would be like, okay, you're going to pay this for 300. But it's not, it's not clear to me. Uh, if anyone does understand, then do let me know. But... The import price feels like, okay, it's 11 right now, but that's not correct either. So let's just go and do this and hope, like maybe maybe it's only one time. Let's just see how, how often we need to import these. We have two families working and expanding our houses. 
Um, yeah, okay, so this is the, the exposed goods, but this is already almost empty, isn't it? Yeah, 30, 21 stone. Stone is definitely becoming an issue, by the way. But that's, yeah, that's this one. So not too worried about that. You see, they're already uh, taking away stuff from here. So I think that's all good. Uh, the hedging post is done. Uh, upgrade. Yes, we, we need to upgrade it. So we have spots for two oxes. Let's just put this on the highest priority right now. And we have another family work that is able to work here as well. Uh, but we cannot do anything as long as this one is not fixed. Oh, let's just build a road around it. A little roundabout. Like that. And, oh, it's it's done. Okay, pause it, pause it, pause it. Uh, okay, that one is not going super smooth here. Uh, let's just do it in little phases. So we can just make a little roundabout around it. And do it like that. And how are we going to connect this? Because I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I want to connect this one. No. Okay. Uh, can I? Okay. If I remove this, alt. <gasps> what did it remove? Remove the little road. Okay. Now I need to do this one all over again. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's not as bad as the first time. Okay. Can we, can we, like, I just want to play around with this a little bit. It's, it's, nothing happens here, so I'm not sure still how this works with the road curvation. You probably need to put it down again. Yes, okay, there we go. Can I, can I make this a little bit, like, smoother in a way? No, it doesn't really look like it. Um, okay, I want to have... One more hitching post right over here. Um, we can rotate this, right? Yes, we can. So it would connect to these two roads already. Oh, we cannot put this one right over here. Can we put it like this? Oh, not enough goods. Oh, silly me, of course. Okay, what well, we have, we can have one family uh we're gonna have another oh i'm not sure what the uh, can a horse maybe do more let's just try it my suck order placed small stable funny thing is i would love to see it be a little bit harder so you need to produce food for these animals even though i'm not really sure if that would be like a really tough job when you're just starting out and you need these hitching posts uh, but some kind of solution for that would be so cool i would love that like maybe even just have like one of these houses uh being a little farmer producing some vegetables like it is right now i mean like vegetables could be the food for horses for example okay we have another uh, family member joining how are these houses doing that we're building? Okay, is that one already having a family? Yes, it is. Oh, that's perfect. We have a really high approval rating here. So that's just amazing. Um, okay, we have barley being produced. But actually, are they having? No, we don't have any yield, of course, because at this point, um, we're not going to produce it anytime this year. Actually, it was a pretty big waste to really assign a family here because this, this year is not being used anyways. Oh, I really want to get some sheep in. So if we want to get sheep, we need a trading for livestock, right? So that would be a hitching post, storehouse. No, that's not it. Industry, trade. Uh, livestock trading post. Yeah, no. Okay, timber is an issue. Fuel is still not being brought in here either. We did accept it, right? Like, we did open the trade. Import, yeah. Current surplus. It is bigger. Our money went down a lot as well. Um... I'm not it, it, that it, it's gotta be 
the firewood then, I, I think. Or these guys are just working very hard right now. Not entirely sure. We have 186, but still only three months. Uh, well, as long as the, the months are not going down and um, it, um, we might be able to, to survive winter. But it's definitely going to be a challenge. You know what we could do? Yeah, I'm going to assign another family here to the logging camp. And let's see. Can we... Oh, look at the trees. Perfect. Okay. That's amazing. So that went well. At advanced. I want to limit your work area now to here. I'm not entirely sure how fast this, this went. Because that did feel like only this year before winter even but let them do their thing uh but we are having problems here because we just don't have okay uh wait yeah okay families are, are getting in we have quite some families here uh maybe we need to have someone work here order a new horse so there is a possibility to buy oh gosh okay there there is all our gold our gold is just gone now i'm gonna stop the trade i'm gonna stop the trade because i i i don't think anything else hurt us here this is definitely good because this does mean like we are keeping 450 but everything above that is being sold i think that is indeed how it works uh, so where is it? Materials. Right over here. Uh, let's stop. Let's stop the trade. 200. Oh, export price. 1 out of 11. Huh. But it... Mm, import. Well, we don't have money for it. We still have only three months. I'm so confused. Is there like a different storage right over here maybe? Doesn't look like it. There are only berries in here, so I'm really not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We did order a horse, but there is no horse here yet. Uh, I'm gonna assign one to work here. Permanent livestock assignment. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, oh shoot! Yeah, okay. We do have livestock in here. No, we don't. We actually only assign a person to live here. Oh, we can. Trade areas available in seven days. Oh, that's also a thing? Well, seven days should be... Yeah, should be gone soon, I guess. Should be over soon. Is it going down already? Can we see that? It's still seven days. I'm not sure how long a day is. We can't see that, right? Autumn year six. Okay, 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 okay. We, we do have some struggles here. Um, generic storage is full. Wait a second, what storage is full? Why is it pointing me towards this? This is a saw pit. Outer lock? No, this one. Not that storage, not that storage. Not, not that storage. Which one were you pointing at? Uh, oh wait, here. Access goods need to be moved to a storehouse. Uh, it's 0 out of 50. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, trader, logs, the log storage. There are 15 logs in here. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, let's do this. Let's... No, first things first. A woodcutter lodge. Let's make another one. Because we are heading into winter. There are so many things I want to do at the same time. It's it's crazy. Uh, industry, I think. No. Gathering. Woodcutter Lodge produces firewood. Can I build that one right over here? Here you go. Rotate. Am I not able to squeeze that in here? I guess there's not enough space. Um. So let's just put one right over here then. Okay, I'm going to put this one on the highest priority. And just speed things up a little bit more again. Yes, perfect. We have some coins. But did we order that horse? Look, there's a horse. There are two horses. 
There are two horses here. We have an ox handler, but there is a horse. Stable space, two out of two. So we have two horses. They're both in here. And let's just have another family working here. I actually didn't realize. So the horse that we ordered for this training post is is in, in this small stable right over here. So weren't we? Yes. Okay. We didn't have any locks for that. So I'm going to have another hitching post and just add one. As close as possible to here. Um, let's face this one a little bit to here, I guess. Okay, there we go. Uh, I like this. I like this. We're going to have a little stables area right over here with only three. I think that's the maximum. Uh, so once this one is done, we can s assign some more people to work there. And then after that, I really want to have... A logging camp right over here and a hitching post as well because then these guys can move stuff but it's, it's a long walk here do we need to build a house here um is that smart I'm, I'm not still not entirely sure if it's like a smart thing to do to build houses close to working areas or like we, we don't need Oh, can we have two families? Like, just a little family? Let's do it like this. Like, if this is smart to do, because these people always need to walk all the way to here, to the marketplace, to get their stuff, like their firewood and their food. But they either live here and get their firewood and food right over here, and they work here, or vice versa. So, I'm not entirely sure what is better to do. I do feel like I want to extend this road a bit and go all the way here uh, so control there we go look okay I'm learning I'm learning I'm, I, it's not for me personally the easiest way to build roads but I guess it works I'm gonna go straight forward to here maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it And then connect it to here. Something like that. Yes, I like this. So, okay, that is being built, that is being built, and a hitching post. I also want to have a hitching post right over here as well. So that is going to be logistics. Hitching post. Uh, what was that? The sto storage is full. I think storage having another storage is also smart to focus on i think i just want to rotate you like that so okay that's that i don't think we should be doing anything else firewood fuel four months might be just enough to survive winter but it's definitely not that much perfect you are done two families uh 38 timber so you guys can produce some more fuel uh we did turn off the trade here right just just double check because i think this did cost us a lot of money construction finished hitching post we have another hitching post here guys we're gonna upgrade it to a small stable right now what else uh field wasn't fully sown before winter i do hope oh that was this one force early harvest maybe we should do that force early harvest crop growth harvest progress field priority Shall we assign people working here right now? No, these purple... I don't know actually what these people are doing that are assigned to this family. Are these... Like in some games, like one of my other favorite games next to Banished was Forest Village Life is Feudal. And 
with that game, like when winter came, um, all the families that were working at farms or like the gatherers' huts, uh, these people were not able to work here, right? Because it was like a, a seasonal thing. Uh, stock stall. Oh goodness, food stall. Oh shoo. Oh wait, that's the food stall. Oh 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 yeah. Zooming out is still uh, an issue for me. Um, but this one. Uh, okay, not really sure. Because they they can make more food stalls if needed. Like the storage here. The granary is doing well. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to say, like these people that were working here or at the gathering uh, gathering area and such, they were all, they stopped working during winter and they were all helping with the people that were constructing and stuff and, and gatherers. So yeah, it's 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 actually um, not super clear to me if that is also the case. I, 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 I think so. I mean... It feels like this game is super well thought of in so many ways. So why would that not be a thing, you know? So yeah, I'm, I'm just super curious. But as of right now, I think um, it's winter. We have four months of fuel left. Let's just see if we are going to survive winter without doing too much more now. Because I'm going crazy crazy here at this point so six months of fuel it's january so i think fuel is doing all right however i am a little bit starting to become uh, uh, concerned about the food supply uh 13 months it's it's definitely going down from the what, what did we start with 36 months or something um so first things uh we could actually ha oh the forger hut at a herb garden i i saw someone commenting about that totally forgot about it afterwards we can uh, we can upgrade this 25 coins gold whatever and two planks let's do that because that is good for the health of our sp of our people right um and i'm assigning another family to work here but okay so this is is probably going to help with more food with the new year um and you know what we have these new houses now and maybe we should keep uh, let these guys focus on food if we upgrade them first uh i think we should do that first uh upgrade four logs we have 47 timber timber is doing well upgrade all these houses because all, then we also get coins from those guys so upgrading houses is definitely smart because that will help our wealth to go up expand living space doubles the maximum family count for this burgage plot yes let's do that let's make sure that we got some more families to live here uh was this one already upgraded no this one is still burgage plot uh upgrade to level two four timber so, yeah, we should do that. This one is still a level one as well. Okay, we're upgrading this, this particular area right over here. Upgrade to level two. This is it. This is it. I am upgrading way too much already. But I think that's going to help us because we definitely do need that wealth. Yeah, people are not happy. <laughs> When you're upgrading. Every time I do this, people are like, yeah, what are you doing? You're making so much noise or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. There is definitely a storage thing here. We actually have quite some planks now. One, 121. Maybe we should uh, start to trade a little bit now. Because that is going to help us. Okay. I'm, go I'm going to... Uh, full trade. Trade until desired surplus is reached. Uh, import, export. Okay, so I only want to export. Oh, and this is like full trade. So as long as we have the desired surplus, if we have more than that, we're going to... Oh, so we're going to import. I'm not sure if I want that. I think only exporting is what I want to do, and I want to keep, say, 50 planks for now? I don't think we need that many planks. So we're going to export, and I want to keep 50 planks so everything else will be sold. I think that's how it works. 
As long as we don't have more stone to gather, I'm not going to do anything for that. Crops, definitely not good. We No, honey is also food. We need food. We, we need to focus on food for now. I think I'm gonna no trade. Berries, we should not trade any berries for now. Materials, is there anything we can trade right over here? Iron, iron, iron. I don't dare to say it anymore because I'm ruining it. Clay, we're actually not using clay, but we can build. We, we can create towels from that, right? Is that part of the industry? Yes, clay furnace. Um, We don't have that one, do we? I don't think so. Actually, I want to build this one right over here. And I want to have some trees around here. I mean, we can do that, right? It looks like trees are definitely growing here. Let's just make sure that they're going to add some trees in this area. I actually am tempted to build another forager hut. How are the buildings doing right now? Okay, this is... Oh, we actually already have a family here. It's unassigned. Can we assign these people ourselves to this logging camp? If, if I... Do di wait, can I assign you? I think we can. I think that's also a thing. Reassign the family to a different workplace. I want to assign you to the logging camp. There we go. Oh, that works actually. Okay, so now oh, do we need another family then? We might actually need that other family here as well. Expand the living space. Let's do that because that family is able to work at the hitching post and then. This, this this could work. And this... Do we need to assign them? Maybe we do. Or we don't. Maybe they're just going to... I'm not sure if that's, like, required. Let's just see if these people are going to work here. Uh, so speed this up. Can we see that? Are they actually waiting Oh, we can't see that because we're upgrading the house. Are they upgrading the house themselves or are people uh, will work in construction? Are those people doing that? I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm just... Oh, yeah. Okay, yes. These guys are needed to bring the logs. We have money for that. Order an ox. And... Not sure. Yeah, let's just do that. See if they are going to use that ox already. I think so, because in the beginning I didn't assign anyone to work at the hitching post. So it might actually work. And maybe horses are faster. Yeah, someone is using one of the horses. Huh. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Autosave. Autosave. Ah, oh, man, I'm so much enjoying this this game. Like the time is is passing by so freaking fast. Uh, so yeah, we're just let's just go and wrap it up right over here because we definitely did expand our our city quite a lot. Look at this gorgeous farming area right now. Do we need some more wells? Actually, I see that lady grabbing some water there. Look how amazing this looks. All these people working at the fields. Oh, yeah. We still didn't buy any livestock. But that was definitely due to the fuel problem and stuff. We we definitely needed to work on that first. Or focus on that first. But that is definitely something I want to do in the next episode. I think we are doing well. I think we are definitely getting a hang of it. Even though we are still learning there is just so much to do in here and oh, look at this little market area right in front of the church i am so much enjoying this definitely let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this game are you excited getting this game when it launches i think it's next week right yeah i think so and uh, yeah definitely keep an eye out to instant gaming if you uh, want to grab this game yourself or any of the other games that i mentioned thank you all so much for watching leave a like at this video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys
so tender, it practically melts in your mouth. 